Hey everyone, it's Ian Brody Stewart, um, and a wrestling related video, so this is gonna be fun. Now, if you're an avid wrestling fan, like I am, then you would have watched NXT TakeOver Chicago this previous Saturday, and uh, for those who don't, first and foremost, this is a humongous spoiler alert, so I'm gonna give you an opportunity to pause the video or exit out of the video, and if you have the WWE Network, uh, go watch it. Or just don't watch this video at all, but anyway, moving on. Then, the end of the of the show, after the uh, tag team ladder match main event with the champions, the Authors of Pain, against uh, DIY, the team of Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Authors of Pain won, and at the end of the show, when uh, DIY, DIY were walking down the ramp and they were embracing each other like a good team of best friends would, Champa churned and betrayed on Gargano, churning heel or a villain in the normal terms, and essentially beat up Gargano. And a lot of people were very saddened by this, very disheartened by this, and a lot of people were saying that this is a very, very bad move. I'm, I disagree, and the, there's numerous reasons why. First and foremost, because of the fact that DIY was such a popular tag team in NXT and on just uh, mainstream in general, it's perfect for them to just uh, break up and, and start something anew. Well, look what happened with The Shield. I mean, yeah, the argument is that they, they were broken up too early, but all great things come to an end eventually. Um... Even more so, this was an, the most likely the last the the last match between the Authors of Pain and DIY. We, so there has to be something new to go through now. There has to be some fresh new material, fresh new content, and uh, matches to go through now. And what better is to actually work from the inside and turn DIY against each other. Now people are saying that Champa shouldn't be a heel. Once again, I disagree. Heel Champa is the best Champa. If you have the time to look up his work in his in his independent scene, as well as his work in Ring of Honor, there's a reason his nickname was the Psycho Killer. In fact, if you remember the Cruiserweight, um, the Cruiserweight Classic tournament when Gargano and Champa were facing off against each other uh, at Full Sail University, they were chanting both Johnny Wrestling and Psycho Killer. There's a reason he's called Psycho Killer. He's known for his very brutal, very aggressive style of wrestling and striking, and the fact that he's he was one of the best heels in ROH. So, this is good, and it keeps their relevancy flowing, keeps them on the map, into eventually going up to the uh, main roster. Um, and most likely will continue. This is kind of like Zayn and Owens in a way. This was worked from NXT into the main roster, and this could work as well with Gargano and Ciampa. It really depends on how they book it, how they write it, and I'm sure both men are going to work it perfectly. They're going to put all their all into it. We well, just have to see tonight with NXT. But all in all, this is a great move to do. People are disappointed at first, but uh, they're curious and intrigued, and they want to see the drama. So, But I just wanted to say that. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, all that jazz. Um, if you want to comment on wrestling trash, then go ahead. Um, that's tilted. That's it. I'm tired. I got stuff to do. So, bye.